Hi there, welcome to the new lecture. Within this lecture, we will be learning about Azure Arc. Within the Azure Arc, and more about the patch management solution. So before that, we move into the Azure Arc or the patch management. Let's actually understand what exactly Azure Arc with the Update Management Center. So with the Update Management as a center, which is a additional service which is available within the Azure portal, you should be able to patch your servers. It could be your Windows servers or Linux servers. They are maybe from your Azure cloud or maybe Google cloud or AWS cloud or IBM or anywhere else, including your on-premises servers can be automatically patched and you could even schedule them uh, and you could you know, find out your uh, complaints on those servers. Um, all this can happen with the update management center. So that's what the high level uh, topic that we are going to deep drive. But uh, this entire series is uh, going to be more about the update management center. However, I would like to touch on Azure Arc also because Arc is a part of uh, update management is a part of Azure Arc. OK, so let's first understand as a high level. Uh, I'm not going to take much time on the Azure Arc. Uh, I'm not going to deep drive into the Azure Arc, but I'll, I would like to give you the high level overview on the Arc specific and then we would, you know, move into the update management uh, center. So that being said, let's understand what exactly Azure Arc can uh, do. It's going to give you a consistent development scenarios for your native cloud native application support, uh, including the Kubernetes platform. Uh, it can be from Azure or it can be even from your on-premises infrastructure. Same, the same thing goes for your SQL servers uh, from your on-premises. And also, you could get the uh, baselines or the policies that you are currently applying from your Azure portal. The same policies can be applied for your governance, uh, governance uh, point of view on your on-premises service also once they are onboarded to the Azure Arc. And also you have the flexibility connectivity options. For example, you could you know uh, connect these servers over the private endpoints or public endpoints or express route. And you should be able to monitor from a regular regularity uh, regulatory point of view or latency requirement point of view. So that being said, let's have a look on it and how the Azure Arc server uh, console looks like. This is the Arc console. If you see here, this is the Azure Arc, and within this, you can you know onboard your servers. For example, I have onboarded three different servers. Uh, two servers are Windows servers. One is from Linux, and these servers are from my uh, different data centers. For example, this is from a Cal or Lac, or I didn't you know mention this server where it is, but you should be you know. Uh, on board a different service based on the tags you should be able to give it and if it is connected if they are online it would be showing you as a connector if it is offline it says that not connected to offline status uh, and also you should be able to uh, manage the custom locations data center uh, data controlling policies secure uh, connections can be uh, happen with the private links and also service principles uh, to onboard these servers you don't need to you know use any kind of user ID password simply you should be used the service principle so that that uh, client ID and the secret passcode can be valid for a couple of minutes or a couple of days so that the resources uh, like you know these servers can be onboarded and we would be you not know, looking into that also and if you look at uh, from the management point of view what are the options we just have a look into the these are the management options are available within the Azure Arc. Let's have a look on it. From an infrastructure point of view, you should be able to onboard Azure Arc virtual machines or a stack, uh, Azure Stack, HCI clusters from a Kubernetes and the servers where we are going to onboard the servers. And later point, we would be using for the patch management and the SQL servers, VMware, vCenter, including the your Hyper V or your um, a CVM that's the a system center virtual machine management uh, console also can be onboarded so that all the servers that are inside your VMware or your virtual machine management console can be automatically onboarded. Uh, that's a, a power that you are going to get it uh, to manage them with the Azure Arc. And you also have the SQL a database specific like uh, 
or PostgreSQL or SQL managed instances and also you have the logic application functions even grids app services API management all of that can be onboarded this is the uh, power of the hybrid management solution that you could achieve it with the Azure Arc and this is for sure if you are the system admin today to manage your Windows servers this is the one console my friends uh, which is going to give you more power and you should be you know definitely have the skill set on this and let's have a look on the management point of view for the update management this is a console which I'm talking throughout this course or at the end uh, you should be able to manage those servers like for example here I have a 220 machines whether they are compliant or non-compliant how many machines are failed uh, or installed or in progress all of that status you should be able to get it directly from the update management center so this is the a console which is used for the patch management right let's have a look on it how it looks like and from a uh, architecture point of view so if you look at uh, let's say this is your on-premises service uh, you have maybe your um, SEVM or maybe your VMware servers or your on-premises single servers so all these servers are available on your on-premises so uh, you could you know onboard them with the connection of uh, either VPN site-to-site uh, -site VPN uh, which can be built uh, with your Azure uh, native uh, or you should be using your public uh, cloud uh, or pl public network when I say public network, you don't need any VPN you all you have to have the uh, you URLs should be you know, open on those servers to connect to Azure Arc and then that can be you know onboarded including your Express route or VPN, private links, all that. At the end, you know, what we are talking is we need to have the establish the connectivity and then the service can be, you know, onboarded. Once they are onboarded, it could be a Linux or Windows that can be managed directly from Azure console. So that's all about the high level. After that, you have an option to uh, manage a one time patching or you have a option to schedule the updates monthly. On a specific days and days uh, all that is possible to update so that's all about the high level overview I would like to you know give it to you on uh, this video and in the next video make sure that you know you need to you know, check out uh, for the patch management uh, but you know before uh, we go we would you know look into the as you are to onboard and later point we would you know onboard the servers once we have done the onboarding we would are patching those servers as the end goal so that being said uh, in in this lecture we had a look on overview of the update management and also the azure arc overview i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this